So go ahead and find a comfortable seat to sit on. Okay, I'm up on the bolster, but be on whatever is comfortable for you, where you have support, where you can feel that your spine uh, has the ability to elongate and align without a lot of you know, work where you're kind of fighting yourself to get there. Now, I have no idea if you've been up for hours or if you just rolled out of bed to get onto your mat. Okay, so whatever you've been doing so far today, let's see if we can just put it aside and drop our awareness and our attention into our body. Your time on your mat is so special. I, I feel it is a special time. So I hope you do too. So let's try to really hone into the gratitude of our practice. So take a moment to offer your thanks, your gratitude to yourself for carving time and space. And also for the practice itself, the wisdom of the ages that trickles down to us to help us be fully present, cultivating a sense of awareness. So as you find the spaciousness in your body, let's find that plumb line from your crown to your tail. Just pay attention to how that might feel to align. sense of open-hearted spaciousness where your shoulder blades release, collarbones broaden so the heart can open without feeling like there, you have to push your heart. You don't have to push heavy doors open, but it's just a state of spaciousness. Let's breathe here for a moment. Start to hear the sound of your breath as you're breathing through your nose, slowing things down. Getting to a place where the inhale and the exhale are either even to each other, or the exhale is a bit longer, your choice. You feel that you're starting to become more present just by listening to the sound of your breath, by being present with the breath. Notice what's moving and expanding. Notice what's not. And with this thought of gratitude and abundance, springing forth of so much energy. Let's place our hands together at the heart. And even if you don't feel like you're springing forth with so much energy, can you have gratitude and let the gratitude be the well that you're dipping into? Offer an intention as you kind of sit in this well. Release the hands and let's find our way onto our back. All right, so as you come <clears throat> down, remember no matter any position that you're in, the breath is available to you always. So as you get comfortable on your back, enjoy. Right? I feel a great way to begin your practice to just get the surrender starting. And what better way to surrender than to lie down? So feel that you can let go of what came before and what's coming later. And you can allow yourself to just be here. All right, lengthen through one side and lengthen through the other side. Just enjoy the movement of your pelvis, the movement of your ribs. Okay, and bring your knees into your chest and rock a little bit. Sway from side to side.
on the circle. The knees kind of rolling in one direction a few times. Moving the other direction a few times. And then moving in the third direction where our knees separate and come back together. And just a little bit of touching in with how are my hips, how are your side joints, you know, just pay attention. Okay, right knee into your chest, left leg stretching long, start to feel into your feet, roll around in your ankles and your toes, wiggle and get to know how your calves, your shins, your ankles, your feet are today. Heaviness in your head, keep breathing. Let's change sides, left knee in, right leg long and feel that sense of movement rolling around, breathing well. And then open up to a star, stretch your limbs wide open and free, roll around in your wrists and ankles, feel that deep stretch and length, exhale, knees into your chest, pick up your head, and then again, spread out wide, exhale, come in snug, release your head down onto the ground, put your feet down onto the ground. And let's windshield wiper our knees a little bit, just warming up a little bit of twisting in the body. Right, great, we're gonna move this into a little bit deeper twist. So cross your right thigh over your left thigh, draw your knees toward your chest first, just to get into your hips a little bit. Lengthen through your spine, keep your head down on the ground. And then put your feet down onto the ground. Scoot your hips to the left and drop your knees over to the right. Now you can put a block underneath your knee if you need to. And just feel into the chest starting to open and the hips breathing well. Okay, come back to center, change legs. Put your feet flat on the ground. Hips flat on the ground and then cross left thigh over right thigh, knees drawing toward your chest. Just enjoy, let your head get heavy. Good. Put your feet down onto <clears throat> to the ground, lift your hips, move them over to the right and drop your knees over to the left. Feel into the breath. See what it feels like to open up through your ribs, your hip, your outer hip, your chest. And then coming back to center, feet flat onto the ground. One more star, spread out your limbs wide. Exhale, draw your knees in, and then find your way to your side. Come up onto your hands and your knees. Okay, so. As we start our into some cow cows, enjoy warming up your whole spine. Okay, so so nice to feel these movements. Inhale, maybe arching the back, maybe you prefer the other way to breathe. Exhale, rounding the spine, separating your shoulder blades. Again, opening up, lifting the tail, lift the chest. Exhale, round the body. I'll make a full scared cat. Move around any way you want. <clears throat> Let your hips rock. Let your shoulders move. Finding breath. And stretch back towards child's pose. Take your hips back toward the heels. Lengthen through your arms and reach. Maybe rock a little bit into one side and the other side, feeling some compression in the knees. And in the hip <clears throat> All right, let's walk our hands over to one side or the other. So you feel the deep stretch in the side of your body, opening up your lats, opening up the ribs. Coming back, find your way over to the other side. Sense what you're feeling. Be in your body, be in your breath. I'm going to try to talk a little less today so that you cannot be distracted by me, but really 
come in to you. And then find your way back to all fours, breathing deeply. <clears throat> Let's do our twist. Inhale, right arm lifting up in the sky. Exhale, slide that right arm through, twisting to the side. Let your head be heavy and relaxed. Enjoy the rib cage. Bring that arm back up in the air and comes down onto the ground. Second side, arm lifting up. Exhale, arm sliding under. Feel the shoulders, feel the shoulder blades, feel the spine, feel the ribs. Let your head relax, melt the base of your skull. And that arm back up in the air, hand comes down, toes curl under, dog pose. All right, so take your time here, pedal and sway and swish and do anything that helps you warm up and waken, become connected to, present with all the different parts. All right, feel your sit bones lift, feel your heels stretch down, drop, drop into your hand. Feel the weight and then reach out of there. And let's walk our feet forward, come into Uttanasana. Relax your head, wag your tail if you want to, mind your breath. Inhale for a halfway lift. Gather on some length, stretch the backs of your legs. While you're here with your hands on your legs, floor or blocks, let's bend one knee, drop the other heel way deep, and then bend the other knee and drop the heel very deep into the ground. Now a couple of more times each side, just bending one knee, straightening the other, getting a lot of weight into the heel. And then melt and fold. Let your head bobble and relax. Climb all the way up. You can bend your knees and drop your seat, however you like to stand. Reaching the arms up, open up through your chest, lean back a little bit. Spread open your wings so collarbones spread, the chest opens, elbows bend, squeeze the back body a little bit, and then release your hands down. Give your hands a shake. Then interlace your hands behind your back. Open up across your chest. Bend your knees and stretch your arms away from your spine. Let your neck and head relax. And then melt your arms down. Inhale, halfway lift. Relax again. Step back to or, or forward to dog pose. However, you need to get onto your mat. Again, extending, finding that length. Yield. And then push off your hands to reach. Just feel into your dog pose. What do you love about this posture? How are you embodied right now? Move into the breath well. On your next inhale, come forward into a plank. Hold yourself here. Feeling that sense of stability, shoulders away from the ears, inner thighs toward the sky. Feel the integration of the center of your body. All right, let's put our knees down if you need to. First, find the ground, roll the shoulders a few times. Inhale, cobra pose, a big open breath. Exhale and melt back down. Either another cobra pose or a wide arm cobra pose with your hands on the ground. And then melt on your exhale. Third time, choose a back bend that felt, helps you warm up your spine. And then melt and fold. Come up onto all fours. 
Move your spine about a little bit here, swish and sway. Okay, take your right leg straight back behind you in the air, two hands on the ground. Find the work of this, stabilize through your core, engage through your glutes, press your left shin down. We're gonna take the leg out to the side, toes facing the ground, find your breath. And then bring it back to center, back to child's pose, just warming up and becoming aware of our glutes. Change sides. Coming up on tall fours, left leg now straight back behind you, two hands on the ground. Integrate through the center of your body. Try not to slide through your shoulders or drop your belly. Feel your glutes and hamstrings turn on. And when you're ready, you can bring your whole leg out to the side, toes facing the floor. Engage through your core and breathe. Back to center. Back to child's pose. Settle your hips. It's going to add on to this now. Come rocking through your wrists a little bit and then place them back down up onto all fours. Okay, left leg, right arm, or right leg, left arm out in front of you. Feel the integrity. Keep your neck neutral. Find your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hug underneath. Elbow and knee come underneath. Inhale, bring it out. Now we go out to the side with our arm and the leg. Thumb up, toes down. On your next breath in, back to center line. Exhale, elbow and knee underneath. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale, bring arm and leg out to the side. Toes down, thumb up. Inhale, back to center. Place your hand down, knee down onto the ground. Shake out your wrist if you need to. Change sides, left leg back, right arm out in front. Find your breath, stabilize. Take an inhale. As you exhale, elbow and knee come underneath. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale out to the side, toes down, thumb up. Inhale back. Exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale back, exhale out to the side, toes down, thumb up, integrate into the center. Find your center line, hands, knees down on the ground, child's pose. Walk a little bit, just swaying from side to side. We're gonna come on to our right side. <clears throat> Find your body in a nice long straight line where we're on a balance beam, you know, or a slack line, just a skinny little line. Legs are together, lift your arm in the air. Just, I think you all have heard me say the mouse holes before, but you're sideways where you would draw a drawstring in on pants if it was right at your belly button, sideways. Okay, so take a deep breath in. We're going to exhale and lift your side waist up like you're drawing a drawstring around your belly at the line of your navel. And then inhale to relax. You can always put your hand on your hip if you feel wobbly. And do a few rounds of this. On the exhale, engage your transverse abdominis, your obliques, everything's hugging in. And on your inhale, everything releases. You feel a lot of different muscles kind of coordinate to help you lift your side waist off the ground a little bit. And now relax. Put your hand down in front of you, in front of your chest. And we're going to lift, we're going to do just a few leg lifts here. So we're lifting our leg off of our other leg and lowering it back down. Legs are straight. We're still on that slack line. Now notice when you start to move that top leg, are you wobbly? Are you trying to, are you rolling forward or back? See if you can press the leg on the ground as much as you are lifting the leg in the air. After a few rounds of this, we're going to leave the leg in the air. Okay, so pause here, press your shit, your whole leg into the ground, lift your whole leg in the air, lift your arm again. Find your breath, relax your skull. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, engage through your side waist. Just feel that integrity coming from the center of your body. 
Deep breathing, a little bit of release on the inhale, a little bit more connection to the core on the exhale. Press your leg into the ground. And then relax, melt. Let's come on to our back. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit, swaying from side to side. And then we're going to come on to the left side. So we're on our other side now. <clears throat> Find that straight line in the body. You can always support underneath your head. If your arm is not enough, you can use a, a blanket or a block. And try to stack. So your ribs over ribs, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip. Okay, let's start with just our hand in the air. Find that sense of stability. And we'll start to breathe and lift our sideways. So as we inhale, relax. And as you exhale, engage your sideways down. And notice if it's harder or easier on one side of the body to um, integrate this movement, to feel and be able to control the movement of the sideways lifting and the sideways releasing. Relax, place your hand down in front of your chest and just do a few leg lifts so you feel into that sense of the pelvis having, or not the pelvis, but the outer hips having some work. Notice if you want to rock back or rock forward, see if you can keep yourself stacked. All right, and now we're going to, when you're ready, we're going to leave that leg in the air. Press your shin, your left shin on the ground as much as the leg is working in the air. Once you feel stable, lift the arm in the air as well. Toes facing forward, lift your side waist. Okay, so find that full integrity, relax your neck. Breathe, let the waist move a bit with your breath, but we're not totally relaxing on the inhale now. Your legs could be wide apart or just a couple of inches apart. Just feel where your body goes. And then relax and come onto your back and bring your knees to your chest and sway from side to side. Just feeling that sense of ease and softness. Open up your knees away from each other. Relax them back in. Just allow your hips to move. And then a big star on the ground. Spreading your limbs wide, exhale, knees and chest come up, rolling onto your side, back onto all fours. So take your time, get to where you need to be, move through a bit of a cat-cow. When you're ready, lift up to a dog. So melt, relax your skull. Move into that gratitude again as you find your breath and you find dog pose. What are you grateful for today? All right, let's lift the right leg high in the air and bring your foot forward to a lunge. Plant your foot down. Open up through your chest. Breathing deep. Let's bend and straighten the front knee. Just enjoy the breath as you breathe and move. All right, find your lunge, ground into your lunge. Feel your roots rising on up. Arms coming upward to the sky, feeling the ribs release in. A little breath here. <clears throat> okay, put your arms anywhere that serves. They can be on your hips, at your heart, out to the side, anywhere. Hands come down, walk your back foot forward, fold here, relax your neck, melt and relax. Locks are nice if you want them, halfway lift, stretch open through your legs, then melt and fold. Let's step the other foot back. Now our left foot is in front, or our right foot is back. 
Open up those hip flexors, start to feel the movement in your body. Okay, so we're straightening and bending the front leg, move with breath, enjoy what you're feeling. Breathe into the sound or feel into the sound of your breath, nice and steady. Round your legs, you drop into your feet, rising up. Okay, bringing your arms wherever serves. And what are you serving? You're serving the breath. Drop into your feet. Can you feel the yields and then the push off so you can reach in the body? Do you feel a sense of center support? your hands down onto the ground, hands up to the ground, lift that left leg up, three-legged dog. Okay, place your foot down onto the ground. Enjoy. Come forward into a plank. Nice and stable. Breathing well. Sit your knees down, find the ground. Shoulders roll. Inhale, cobra pose. Melt again. Find your breath. Up onto all fours. Come into Vasistasana on your knee. We're going to do this again in a little bit, but first let's start on our knee. Now, while we're here, you can have your knee perpendicular, but you can also try taking your shin um, in line with your hand and your other foot. So you can be here, which is a little more wobbly. You can even put your hand on a block if that's helpful, <clears throat> or you can take your shin perpendicular. So find a pathway, open up. Shoulder blades down away from the ears, find your breath. Exhale, hands onto the ground, find the other side. So your shin can be perpendicular, or parallel, you decide how you want your shin to be. Your hand can be on a block or your hand can be on the ground. Keep your other foot on the floor for now. We'll do a little lifting later. Shoulder blades down the back. Just feel into the support of this pose. How are you holding yourself up? Can you feel that left shoulder blade drop down? Are your, is your hand just slightly forward of your shoulder so that you have a good line of energy moving through your body? back onto all fours. Child's pose. Settle your hips back towards your heels. Rock a little bit, swaying from side to side. Either just come up to stand or move through dog pose, your choice. If you're skipping dog poses, that's totally fine. Find your way. We're going to come into Uttanasana. Put your hands on blocks. Feet are hip width apart. Now drag your feet apart from each other. Finding breath, and then melt, and come down like chair pose, but we're gonna keep our hands down for just now, for right now. We're gonna put our hands on our knees so we're not coming up into a chair, but squat with a straight leg squat so your feet are um, and knees are pointing straight instead of out to the sides, and then press your knees into your hands. Drag your big toe and, and inner heels down onto the ground and pull them apart as well. Finding that work in the outer hips. And then relax, melt, come up to stand. If you ever get dizzy, squeeze, take your time, squeeze to the midline. Okay, now we're going to start with um, coming over onto one side of our, we're going to do some, some traveling chair squats. So take um, your body, I'm a little stuck because of my furniture, or maybe I'll do it. I'll show you from both directions. So we're going to come down like a chair, but with our hands in front of us, our knees and our feet are pointing straight. And we're just going to sidestep on our mat all the way to the other side of our mat. Okay. And then return. Stay in your squat as you do this. Breathing well. Okay. 
So if you, you know, try to have enough length so that you can do this, I'm hitting furniture. Hopefully you are not staying in your squat as you do this. So we're not standing up and going down and standing up. We're staying in our squat. Going back one more time. All right, and once you get to the edge of your mat where you began, come back to the front of your mat. Take a deep breath in, chair pose. Now you can always put a block between your thighs if this helps you kind of stabilize in your chair. This time you can bring your arms overhead so you feel into the fullness of your pose. Breathing well. Okay, now come up onto your tippy toes. Pause here for a moment, just finding balance. And then relax your hands back down. Pause and Tadasana. You can have your hands at your heart or down at your sides, block or no block. Finding breath. All right, turn to the long edge of your mat. Wide legs. Turn your right foot out. Your left foot can be straight or turned in, your choice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Blow through this a little bit. Arms up, legs straight. Again. This now we're gonna hold. So find your way into Virabhadrasana. Drop the shoulders, gaze out over your fingers, drop some weight into the back heel. Full breaths, and again, take what serves the breath. So if you need to drop your arms to your hips or hands to the heart or any other position, you do that. Okay. Breathing deep. We're gonna reverse the warrior, open up. I'm gonna straighten your leg and find triangle pose. Tip over to the side, the legs are straight. Open up here. Take your time, drop into your feet. Feel the chest open. Move your crown and your tail away from each other. Peace and find your way back up to standing. Okay, we're gonna go the other way. So you can bring a block with you if you know you need it for triangle pose. Adjust your feet to be in a happy place. Front heel can line up with your back arch or heel to heel, however your hips prefer. Find the breath, lift up. Exhale, coming into Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms. Exhale, coming down. One more time. Finding this movement, coming into the posture, relax the shoulders, breathe deeply, drop into the weight of your feet, open up that knee, try to track your front knee in line with the middle toes instead of letting it cave in, finding breath. Can you relax something? Feel self-supporting, open up those legs, drop your weight. Reverse your warrior when you're ready, opening up through the side of your body. And straighten your leg and reach forward, bring your hand to rest on your leg or on the block. Triangle pose, shoulders away from the ears, tail away from the crown, root into the feet. Feel the stretch from heart to hands. Open up your ribs. Try not to hyperextend the front knee. See if you can melt into that and drop weight into the big toe. Come back up. Turn your feet to the short, long edge of your mat and come down into Padrita. So wide legs. You can put hands on blocks. Hands on floor, head on block, head on floor. Nothing is the right way. Whatever feels good to you is the right way. Okay, climb 
back up, turn your feet out just a little bit, adjust for a really wide squat. And so elbows inside knees, open up the inner thighs, find your breath. And hands back down, toes pointing straight one more time. Now see if you can turn toward the front of your mat and let's find dog pose. And turn your toes in a little bit so you feel that inner spiral of the thighs. Breathe well. Come forward into a plank. Integrate through the center, shoulders away from the ears. Let's lower down to the ground. Shoulders roll around a little bit. Inhale, cobra pose. Melt and fold. And by fold, I mean come up onto all fours. Right, so rock around, move your spine, swirl about in your pelvis, free things up, and then find child's pose. Settle your hips back toward your heels and enjoy the compression in your knees and hips and legs. Okay, now a full vasistasana. So you have a few choices here. We're going to be on our right arm. Okay, so you can be with your knees still on the ground like we did before and you can lift the leg in the air. You can have your two legs on the ground stacked with your hips lifting high, or you can have your top leg with your foot on the ground lifting high. So make a choice, shoulders over the ears, open up through your breath. Melt back onto all fours. And if you can, you know, maybe you have one side that's a little wonky versus the other side. Maybe you have a shoulder thing going on. So choose this side. It doesn't have to be the same as the other side, but it can be. So you can be in the Vasistasana with your leg in the air, with your shin per perpendicular or parallel. You can have two feet onto the ground or actually one foot on the ground, the other stacked and lifting up into full Vasistasana, or you can have your front leg Foot on the ground, All right? So make a pathway, shoulders away from the ears, open the chest up, find the breath. Support your shoulder blades, let them drop into the rib cage. Use your core. And then melt and come back and take a moment to rest in child's pose. Breathing well, we turn back, integrate into the breath. Find dog pose or skip a dog pose. I'm going to walk forward and come to stand. All right, for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose, it's good to use a block. All right, so start out, you can start from triangle pose or Parsville Panasana, whatever feels good. You're going to have your right foot pointing straight toward the short edge of your mat so we're controlled in where our foot placement is. Bend your knee. You can go into any beginning posture you want. And we're going to take the block. I have to back up a little bit. You're going to take the block um, underneath your right hand, and you can take the right hand out to the pinky toe side of your foot a little bit more if you need a little bit broader base, and lift on up, leg in the air. Now activate. Remember all the work we've done to strengthen these outer hips. Now engage your core, cinch your waist, open up through your chest, flex your foot in the air, press through it, lengthen crown, shoulder blades down the back, open up. Big wide stance to come out of the posture. 
and change sides. So we're going the other direction. Now I'm short on space, so I'm just going to come right up into the pose. But if you want to come from triangle pose or parts of a panasana, that's a choice too. Left toes are pointing straight toward the short edge of your mat. So we're not gonna let our foot turn in or out. Come on up, put your hand. So this hand on the block can be, you don't have to have it in line with your foot. You can put it outside of your foot on any height. And if you're worried about the wobbly of a high height, but you want that high, just set two blocks on top of each other to give you that support. <clears throat> now open across your chest. Unlock your knee. So the standing leg, try not to hyperextend. Lengthen from your crown to your tail to your heel and your press the heel away. Cinch your waist, shoulder blades down the back, lift that leg in the air. Big giant step out the way you came and come to stand. Pause into asana. Enjoy your two feet on the ground. Find your breath. Inhale, arms up and wide. Exhale, float forward, relax your neck. A halfway lift, mouth and fold. Step back to a plank, and you can turn this into a forearm plank if you prefer. Sometimes that can get your core a little differently. Find your breathing. Cinch through your sides on your exhales. All right, let's lower ourselves down to the ground. Come over onto your back. Okay, so we're lying on our back now. Feet are hip width apart. Drop some weight into your feet. Breathing well. Now lift up into a bridge. Open up through the chest. Rock onto the tops of the shoulders. The back of the head is soft. Root into the four corners of your feet. Imagine you have a strap, one of those stretchy straps on your outer thighs or around your thighs. So I'm going to press your thighs into it. And then lower your body down. Windshield wiper your knees. Just moving a little bit left and right. And the last little action for your side waist. We're going to take our hands behind our head, like old school sit ups. Okay. And we're going to lift up off our mat only to the bottom tips of our shoulder blades. So our bottom tips of our shoulder blades are still on the ground. Rest your head in your hand. Drop your left elbow toward your left knee, back to center, right elbow toward right knee. And just do this pass a few times, letting your head rest. Make sure you're breathing. Just dropping your elbow down toward your hip. Keep your shoulder blades off the mat, only the bottom edge of them is on the mat. Head is heavy. Full breath. And then relax your head down and just deeply rest. Windshield wiper your knees now, moving left and right. Breathing well. Full exhale to release. Go onto your belly for a moment. <clears throat> so flipping on over. Okay. Hands are on the ground, stacked one on top of the other. Put your head on top of your, your forehead on top of your heel. Okay. We're going to lift our legs, stabilize your core, and we're going to bring the legs out and then back in to touch. And then out and back in.
relax. Last strong thing here before we start cooling down, we're going to lift the legs again, lift them high, turn your toes out, turn your toes down, turn your toes out, turn your toes down, keep breathing, engage your core. Okay, and then relax, pick up your feet and drop your feet left and right. Go ahead and find our way onto our uh, up to all fours, and we're going to come into pigeon pose. Now, of course, if you'd rather do reverse pigeon pose, do reverse pigeon pose. So, your choice take any amount of support that you need. A block or a blanket underneath your hip is great. Right leg first. And a block underneath your head is great if you're in pigeon pose. If you're in reverse pigeon pose, make sure you're melting your head on the ground well. Okay, so let's stretch open all these muscles in our hips we've been working with. Relax your shoulders. Breathing deep. Can you hear the sound of your breath? Are you in touch with the breath? Can you melt something in your body? Ready to switch sides. Go ahead and switch sides. And left leg in front, right leg behind. Maybe you're on your back. Maybe <clears throat> one side you do on your back, one side you do on your front. However, you like to be in pigeon pose, take support. I have a blanket underneath my sit bone um, and it crosses over to my opposite thigh. So I have a blanket you know, under my back leg thigh and my front leg sit bone. Sometimes I need two blankets, sometimes I need no blankets, sometimes I need one blanket. So don't assume every day is the same. And also try not to hang. It's a lot, it's a lot less stressful in your joints to take some support. It does not change how deep of a stretch you're getting. Melt the head. Let the nervous system be told by all that, that you're doing, the melting of the head, the relaxation into the exhales, that all is well. Your nervous system can Heal all as well. How is your breathing? I'm ready to come out of there. Come on to your back and grab a strap. As you're ready, put your feet on the ground. Just rest on your back for a moment. Notice your breathing. And then when you're ready, you can put your right foot in the strap. Your left foot can stay how it is with your foot on the floor, or you can straighten your left leg out. Reach your right foot up and drop your right hip down. 
We're going to take the strap into the left hand and cross the leg over to the left. The right leg goes over the left. Your right hand can be in the hip crease if you want. Let the head be heavy. Just opening up the outer hip a bit. Bring that leg back up, two feet in the strap for a moment. Just enjoy the length in your body. And then as you're ready, you can put your right foot down onto the ground or your right leg down onto the ground. Stretch up through your left foot, drop down through your left hip. The neck and shoulders and head are nice and relaxed. How's your breathing? Take the strap into the right hand. We're going to cross the left leg over to the right. Feeling the left hip open up. Move your left hip away from your shoulder. If you want to stick your hand in there and press it away, that's fine too. that leg up in the air, take the strap off and lower your legs to the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left, shimmy your torso, your shoulder blades over to the left and just give your right side a big open stretch. And come back center, cross the left ankle over the right, shimmy your ribs and shoulder blades over to the right, stretch your arms overhead. You can grab onto the left wrist and pull up if you want. Try to get your shoulders and your ribs to drop into the earth. Big, big breath into the left side of your body. Back to center. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit. Maybe a happy baby pose. Might feel really nice. Again, feel free to rock a little bit. Now, whatever else you feel like you need, if you want to put a block under your pelvis for a supported bridge for a moment, if you want to do a twist, just take the last little bit here to just serve the body, whatever it wants. Whatever you're doing, you're breathing. There's no rush, but whenever you are ready for Shavasana, you can take your, uh, you can take support underneath your knees if you want. You can be flat on your back if you want. You can be on your side. You can be even on your belly. So however Shavasana wants to be today, make sure you feel warm. Make sure you feel supported. Make sure your limbs are resting. If there's anything in your body that's feeling a little vulnerable, then you can perhaps support. If your shoulders are vulnerable, it might feel good to stick a lip of a blanket underneath your shoulders so your elbows and, sh and shoulder joints are resting and your hands can be on your belly. If your low back is a little vulnerable, then you can um, put a blanket underneath your knees. So just find what feels right.
whatever you're doing, however you find yourself. Once you're there, be there. Melt and surrender. Feel into your breath. Relax your skull. It's beginning to keep in your all breath. Feel the weight of your body. Renew yourself through your breath. Start to find yourself moving a bit, maybe just your head from side to side at first, maybe a little bit more. Actually finding your way to a seat.
place your hands together. Once again, feel into this deep state of gratitude. It's like a snowball that can just keep gathering size and speed going down the hill. The more we remember to be grateful, the more we think of what we are grateful for, the more we shift our mindset into one of abundance and flow. So offer this flow outward, send your energy, your prana to another, offer your love, your compassion, your care. Namaste.